Good evening, ladies and germs, and welcome to the 23rd show of WCHS Today. I'm the announcer, John Stromager, along with host Jim Tallman. The big show for tonight, guests are the Breakfast Club from 106 and many other surprises, so stick around and enjoy the show. WCHS Today, I'm the host, Jim Tallman. Uh, we're a student-run, student-operated organization here at, a darn good one. Here at the, the booming community of Washington, Illinois. So, yeah. Let's get to the show. Yes. The show. All these stickers around here for some reason. I don't know. 106. Heck of a time peeling them off every time. I know. Oh, it's... Ward's here. All right, Brad. Just Look at the cameraman. Brand new. Oh, my, brand new John. One Wall. of my uh, proteges, I guess you call right. him. Yeah. John Wall. John Wall doing camera rookie. All right. Doing a darn good job. But what a zoom in that was. Yeah. All right. Here is uh, how we start the show every week. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Yes. Here, I'll zoom in for you. You can zoom in. Zoom in. There's that button John. that says zoom. Right zoom. There. Let's find it. Mm. There it is. Hey, there it yeah. Is. Yeah. I'll get down here to the center of the screen. Yes. Big right. dumb joke. Okay, you can zoom back out. Got two for you tonight. Yeah. No. Unbelievable, oh. isn't it? First one's a Norland joke. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 What did the guy say when he walked into the bar? What? Ouch. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> dumb joke part two. What happened? To the mother who didn't know cold cream from putty. What? Her windows fell out. Whoa! Oh, my. Oh, that's what, what we call it. Big, big, big dumb, dumb joke. joke. Not big funny joke, you see. Big dumb joke. There you go. All right. Okay. Too much light. Oh. What else we do at the start of every show is have our famous, infamous... TTT Tim's Top Ten! Yeah. 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 Alright, right. Tim, how's it going? That's yeah, going pretty good. Yeah, I got the plan. Going, going pretty good there, dude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, don't have any graphics. Uh, yeah. Had a little uh, complication, but uh, With our, we'll get through with it. Our PC Juniors back there in the studio. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, this one kind of ties in with the old. Uh, Basketball game that was just played Tuesday, and uh, oh, yeah. top ten for today is top ten reasons WCHS All Stars lost. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I can think of a hundred. <laughs> Number ten. Th these are kind of inside. You know, some people might understand it. For yeah. Forgot their basketball shoes. Were forced to wear wrestling shoes. Uh. <laughs> Number nine. Ref secretly plotting a communist communist regime against TV club. Oh. Yeah. Number eight. Want to make Channel 19. Er. Not Channel 19. <clears throat> Cocky. Uh -huh. oh, I couldn't read oh. my own writing. <laughs> Number seven, not used to Tuesday night basketball. <laughs> Number six, <laughs> being in girls' gym made them made us play like girls. Oh! Oh, I think that's the reason right there. <laughs> Number five, didn't want to show off. Number four, <laughs> scoreskeeper gave points to wrong team. <laughs> Number three, big loss to Oklahoma, dampered spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Number two... Lights got in her eyes. <laughs> and number one, secret weapon, Dan Butterly, not present. Oh, oh no! That's what finally did it. Thanks, Tim's guys. Top ten. Tim's Top ten. Uh-oh. I can see it forming right yeah. now. 
Yes, Oh, no, what? What do you like to do about... No, she, oh, I don't know, 7.30 every night? Oh, it's self-explanatory, Paul. <laughs> yes, the weekly world news. <laughs> Sneezing increases your bus size. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you girls better start sneezing pretty much. This is to inform you, the rest of the world, uh, some of the news stories you might not be uh, aware of, <laughs> such as... <laughs> The pet python survives being baked in oven. Scott Ruff Rouse said the oven was set at 400 degrees when he opened the door and saw his pet snake, Rashid, crawl out. Rush, Roush, the name is believed, the snake crawled through the hole in the bottom of the oven and was there for almost an hour while Rush cooked a chicken dinner. Only found the Weekly World News. Kamikaze Goose clobbers Hunter. <laughs> Hunter Nub Walp was knocked out when and hospitalized for two name. weeks. Nub Walp. <laughs> hospitalized for two weeks when he was clobbered by a 10-pound Canadian goose. Don't tell me a goose can kill it. Can uh, can't kill ya, said Walp. 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 Dupe Walp. Walp. Whatever his name is. Uh, <laughs> predictions. They had uh, predictions up to 1998 here. Uh, <laughs> a lot of predictions that for the cup kind of futures, such as uh, Cuban dictator F Fidel Castro. Will resign in 1990 and launch a career as a television evangelist. <laughs> he will un unsuccessfully take over the PTL. Oh, Florida becomes a huge Atlantic island when earthquakes rumble across the north part of the state and suspend it from the mainland in 1994. Ooh. The 1996 report, Olympics yeah. uh, will have a new test. They will uh, check <laughs> the, the participants for uh, with sex tests and find that Russian women. The Russian women shop putters are really girl gorillas, genetically altered in the lab by scientists. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Somebody's impersonating Mr. Woodward back there. <laughs> Michael Jackson will stop singing and study animal, animal husbandry at Purdue University and become a veterinarian. Fans of professional base... What? Oh, who knows? <laughs> I've been sneezing too much. Yeah. <laughs> Fans of professional baseball and football will be banned from the stadium after the World Series ride of 1997. My. Punk styles will die in 1990, followed by a fishy fashion fad. Women will dress in scales, fins, and fake gills. <laughs> It's perfect impersonation. <laughs> perfect impersonation of Woody. Um, oh, kid. News headline from the Weekly World News. Kid is allergic for, to school. 15-year-old Mark Hoogill. Uh, Who? <laughs> Who? 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 Gill? <laughs> oh, Literally trembles uncontrollably whenever he's in school. Uh, uh, last year, out. he was... <laughs> <laughs> He, will, he was in school five out of the 174 days. And that's all for the Weekly oh, World let's News. Let's get this out of here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Time, you got it, too? All right. Time to bring in some of the members of the losing WCHS Today All- You might as well just go down the couch a little bit. WCHS Today All-Star to look at the game and analyze it. Here is Matt Holt. He's got Rathman and Tim Tran. Yeah, we'll shit on us, It's hard fought. Can, so we lost, guys. That's a light. That's an understatement, too. It was a rough loss as a coach, you know. It's player coach, same thing. It's kind of sentimental, but we're still 29-2, and two, and we're doing, <laughs> you know, we're doing pretty well. Didn't so. blemish our record too much. So, yeah. like, what, what was your, mainly the coaches sort of like are Tim Franz and Matt Holthy. What was your reason, you know, besides serious reasons why we lost the game? Well, uh, shooting. Right? I'd say height advantage was probably biggest. They got a lot of offensive boards and yeah. shooting. Um, we shot, what did we shoot, 33%, and they <laughs> shot some somewhere around 60. Yeah, they had eight people in double, double figure. We had three. <laughs> three. three. We had three, so. Better than one. Uh, I don't know. Mormon was high score with 16. Yeah. We. I don't think anyone really played a good game. Almost everybody scored. Yeah. Well, almost, almost, almost everyone. Almost everyone. <laughs> Okay, Except fine. you know who. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think, you know, <laughs> we're going to try to do a couple shot, things though. different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anybody. Someone is being a brace. Nobody's going to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, let's look at the. Let's uh. There's a clip. Which is this set in game? This Where's is um, third, third quarter. quarter. Um, I think the first part is Brian Heller. Um, <laughs> making, <laughs> there it is. Yes, Heller is uh, going up for a free throw. Huh? We're just gonna watch a couple minutes of this. And I'm starting to get excited. I'm starting to get real excited. Okay, come we, on, Brian. Let's go. We got Heller at the line shooting too. This could this could get the Panthers within 12. We see Brad Ward's 100 percent. This is Heller hits it. Oh yeah. And Brian Ward's 100 percent in the second half. All right. Oh no. But that brings them within 13. The Panthers. He missed it. Yeah, that's possible. Brian's a really smart guy. Basketball. Oh! Ward with the little... No, that looked like a foul! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Okay, well, they're dimming the sound. We're going to analyze while they're... This game is going on. Who's the ball right there? Uh, it's it's real real me right there. It's and strange. I got hacked. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you what a was. hammer. It was. <laughs> Hartzler knew it. He was way on the other side of the court. <laughs> the referees called too many petty fouls. Yeah. Some of the real fouls. Some of the yeah, well. Yeah, well. There's John. <laughs> There's John Stromberger. What a pass goal. that was. <laughs> Up no, for the shot. Up for, oh, Unbelievable. Oh, yes. Unbelievable. Two of the few points we made that game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, we made uh, 73. 73. 73. 73. 73. 73. Which is compared to the 103. 103. They scored by Got it over. Here we go. He's France with the ball. What a pass. And he got fouled. Oh, he got I thought that should have been an assist. See, that was a pretty good pass. <laughs> Brad got fouled. Well, Brad, Brad Ward. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think he makes one of these. Brad had a good night at the line. Brad, yeah, yeah, Brad had a good night tonight. Oh, there oh there's some people. Uh, not there's there's fans. Fans. The okay, spectators of the game. Oh, wait, we got a oh you do more? Okay. Oh, we got some more. What, we got some more. Man, Man, he cans it. Yes. He know. He knows where he's. Where he's oh, okay. oh, we're supposed to tell him. Where we're, we're just watching both of you. I thought you did. There it is. Unbelievable. There's four points. Okay. Uh, Cut it, Dan. Okay. There we are. Yeah. There we are. So we're going to. That's. We shouldn't have talked about the game because uh, guys at Channel 19 like to watch this show and. Uh, yeah, I think they had some scouts there. <laughs> they did have Channel 19. Yeah. We're darn good guys. <laughs> Jim. Yeah. Doug. 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 Oh, Doug. Oh, hey, all right. you guys. So, then, yeah, this next Tuesday night, we'll be going against the HOI All-Stars. dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else you guys have to say about the next um, week? The game's going to be at the Civic Center. <laughs> yeah. oh. There's about 300 tickets left, so if you <laughs> yeah, got there right now, you can... <laughs> <laughs> have you watched the show before? <laughs> um, well, that's about all you guys have to say, then. Well, we want... What? Mr. Nels wants to play. Mm -hmm. yeah. That could be something. Mr. McGoy. Oh my. We could use them. <laughs> yeah. We can use. We can use some. Yeah, we. We want fans there Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, yeah show up. Uh, bring. We, how much we we raised? Thirty-two seventy-eight. Thirty-two dollars seventy-eight. And about how many cans? Eight or nine cans for the Washington Help Its People program here. Yeah, we're shooting for beat that Tuesday. Yeah. Double that at least. We're shooting for a couple thousand. <laughs> at least. We're shooting for you to get a point. <laughs> yeah, people just Rainbow. come to see Tom and score. <laughs> It'll be a sight. Yeah. Yes, we're coming back early. Not the whole band. Just special and privileged people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thanks a lot for being on tonight. Yay! No audience poll tonight, but we do have an audience game. We already got our people we picked got people. out. Oh, yes. Right. Come on up! Contestants! Contestants, come on down! <laughs> All right. Great crowd out there. Yep. Okay. We got Carol Fishbach and Jean Gisselson. Thank you very much. Tonight's question of games is like usual trivia. Trivia, you never usually find out who's our judge in the back there tonight. Amy, my sister, my beloved sister, Amy Tallman, yeah, is back right. judging tonight. Okay, you know how this works. Basically, we ask you a question, and if you don't get right, the other person gets a chance to answer. The person with the closest answer gets the point. So, your first question tonight is, what performing, star, uh, real, what performing star's real name 
is Robert Zimmerman. Go to you, Carol. Performing star's real name is Robert Zimmerman. No help from the audience, please. Shh. Okay. I don't know. Um, Prince. 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 I'm sorry, that is not correct. The Zimmerman correct Fire. answer is Bob Dylan. Oh, Bob no, Dylan. Now, who is closer, <laughs> Prince or Michael Jackson? I was going to say Bob Michael Dylan. Michael Jackson. They're both wrong. Nuh-uh. Phone call. Oh, who could just... They're both wrong colleges. <laughs> Give me just a second while we uh, answer the phone. Uh, WC just today. Uh, yes, just a second. Yeah, uh, it's for you, Mr. Woodward. <laughs> okay. This happens all the time. Hard to interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I say uh, Michael Jackson closer because there's two. What is it, Amy? Name. Oh, I give right. it Michael Jackson. Okay, Ooh. Michael Jackson. <laughs> all right. This is a too bad. <laughs> Gene, the question goes to you this time. Name no help from the audience, please. Name the bad guys in the Beatles' 1968 movie Yellow Submarine. Don't. No help from the audience. The bad guys. The bad Yellow guys submarine. from the 1968 movie. Yellow submarine. Captain Cook. Captain what? <laughs> Captain Cook. Captain Cluck. Is that a correct answer, Amy? Cluck. No, Jim. I'm sorry, it's not. Cluck? C O O K. Captain Cook. Cluck. Oh, is Captain Cook a right answer? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Carol. Um, Jesse James. Jesse James. Closer, but I'm sorry, it's not correct. Uh, that would be closer. So it's the correct answer. The Blue Meanies. The Blue Meanies. How many of you guys knew that out there? I knew it. Yeah, I the old one. Right. Yeah, so who gets closer then? Me. Uh, Carol. Yeah. Okay, Carol. Current score one to one. Thank you. Carol, <laughs> tell us the score of a forfeited baseball game. What is the score given to a forfeited baseball Boy, game? Forfeit. <laughs> zero to zero. Zero to zero. Is that correct? No, I'm sorry. It's not. Gene. Um, one to nothing. One to nothing. Once again, it's incorrect. Gene was close, so the answer was nine to zero. Nine to zero. Why? Wow. Get it. <laughs> one run per inning. Right? There you go. There you go. Two to one. The tension sticks so thick here you have to cut it with a knife. Uh, Gene. <laughs> yeah. Gene, what is where is the station WGBS TV located? Where? Laramie. Who? Laramie, Wyoming. Laramie, Wyoming. Uh, Amy, is WGBS-TV in Laramie, Wyoming? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Carol, where is WGBS-TV? Boston. Boston, is it in Boston? <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not correct. The answer is Metropolis. Metropolis, where <laughs> Superman went after he was fired from the Daily Planet. Who's closer? That's closer. Carol's closer. Boston is closer to Metropolis, Boston's is that right, Amy? Closer. It's closer to New York. I've never heard of Laramie, so... Yeah, well, <laughs> what's just closer, Amy? Laramie? It's closer. What? Carol's answer is closer. Okay, so what is that? All right, Carol. Two to two. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Scary. Final question. Hang on. Here we go. Look out, Carol. How long is King Kong's nose? <laughs> Four inches. Four inches. Is that the correct answer, Amy? Not correct. Not correct? No. Not correct. I, I, right, not here. <laughs> hey, Gene, what's your... Two feet. Two feet! Is that a correct answer? That is the correct oh! answer. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, somebody, they say feet. there's cheating. I didn't <laughs> see cheating. No. Did anybody see cheating? No. I didn't see cheating. I didn't see cheating either. Give it up. So the loser, Amy, what does the loser win? Well, Jim, the loser tonight wins the latest copy of the Weekly World News, made famous oh, by WHS today. Oh, damn it. And that's my question. Amy, 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 Amy. Our winner okay. wins a two-week supply of Easter candy featuring a Cadbury chocolate cream egg and other things supplied by Super X. I'm going to steal it. Give it to me. Yay. Yeah, okay. Where's the concept? And right. what is our oh, right. main winner win tonight? Oh. You got to look at these. You sure said it. Our main winner wins tonight a free dinner at La Gondola featuring pizza bread and a medium drink of their choice. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Thanks for playing audience games. Yeah. All right. Crowd. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. You got to turn the applause sign on tonight for this crowd. Jeez. Yeah.
15, which is about half. <laughs> what? The drum roll? Oh, yeah, for that. Who's, yeah, get her, get her to your station. Right now? Yeah. See ya. And now the main guest with all these, I don't know, you can show some of these stickers here. 106. The most exciting men on this hemisphere, just under Billy Bob and his marching Bobkin band in, from Africa. Here is... <laughs> <laughs> Here is the Breakfast Club, Dan and Paul from the Breakfast Club. Hey! 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 How are you guys doing tonight? Jeez. What is that new cola you're drinking there? It's a one of six cola. It's generic. <laughs> it's generic. <laughs> so. It's good to be here. Great having you guys. It's a comfy sofa. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we didn't just agree to come to, to plug the show, did we, and to, and to plug the station, No, right? we won't, don't want to have too many shameless plugs, but... Uh, In fact, from now on, just once or twice more, will we Every actually, now and then, but we, we just, actually mention the show. <laughs> so, you know, just to get that out of the way. Looks <laughs> 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 good. That looks good. Thank you. Okay. I wore the wrong colors, obviously. Well, that's why I changed. I know. <laughs> okay. How did you guys ever get started with the Breakfast Club? It was a cruel twist of fate that brought us together. <laughs> <clears throat> what they did um, was uh, they pulled my name out of a hat as somebody to torture. Their latest torture victim paired <laughs> with Dan. I was waiting to be paired with somebody. And um, we were looking for months and months before we found someone uh, bad enough. <laughs> it's got, oh, they yeah. settled for me. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. It's, it's worked out pretty good, though. It really has. Uh, what is involved in the preparation for your show? Excuse me, what's the best way to sit when you're on camera? Is it like with your legs sticking like this? Or is it kind of like this? Or is it kind of... It's not like this. <laughs> you knucklehead. It's not like this. <laughs> this would That's not their be teacher good. in the back. It's <laughs> something like, like, it's kind of like a cross between a Ed sound McMahon enough. and Burt Reynolds. That's a sound effect. It's a sound effect, isn't it? Is that a sound effect? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're sure you're not doing things? <laughs> Okay, but it's, oh, I think this might be good. And that's good the way you use the left leg and I have the right leg so that we... Symmetry. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> le le what is it? Leg, leg symmetry. symmetry. Catch, catch it. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I, you know what I'm developing? You G see the movie? G yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Flop sweat. Did you see the movie Broadcast News? Pretty soon. Well, I'm wearing dark so oh. that it won't show up. Wow. Okay. You ever, do you ever wear lots of makeup? No. <laughs> Okay, we'll make it. I tried to get some makeup for my nose to make it smaller because, as you can see with the profile here, it's about a little shorter than King Kong's. <laughs> but they didn't even. How long is King Kong's? Two feet. Well, it's a lot shorter, about six inches shorter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so, how do you guys prepare for the show? Uh, the Weekly what? World News, whoever had that, that's one of our main. <laughs> 55 uh, main cents, guys. pal. That's your uh, best entertainment. That's the latest value. one right there. Yeah, World, World War II bomber, bomber found on Moon. <laughs> There's some good for 55 cents. That's your best entertainment value. No <laughs> doubt about that. Yeah, we're entertained for we, hours. Um, Those articles we can read in it. Do we prepare? Yes, we do. Okay, we prepare. Yeah, we're not <laughs> we we um, uh, when we get off the air each day, then we start thinking about things for the next day. And sometimes we even prepare two days in advance or three. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's unheard of in this club too. So <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's spontaneous. Um, but if if you don't have some preparation, you. Uh, we end up looking more foolish than we look uh, anyway. So, yeah, we prepare. We uh, we read all the tabloids for sure. Uh, think about things that are happening in the news. Tabloids are great sources, and we do a feature called Celebrity Dirt. That uh, tabloids provide a lot of that. And uh, if they're not funny enough, then uh, we improvise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Basically we lie. We, we might have a, we might have a basic premise for a, a dirt story, a celebrity dirt story, and then we just tag on a, a line at the end. That's that's not true. I'm gonna just like cool fan myself these lights. <laughs> oh, so so bright. And, so, <laughs> so thank you. Well, how much? Like, what time uh, do you have to get there in the morning? To, uh, to ready to go I get there uh, at about four thirty. I get there about uh, get quarter till five. Mm -hmm. So it's from five to. 5.30 to 10. We get on the air 5.30 to 10, five days a week. Monday through Friday on 106 WWCT. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I understand. It's so natural. You know. I'm not used to being on TV, so I'm radio, you got to say it all the time. Whereas TV, you can just go like this yeah. and have it up. Kind of a Superman kind of thing. I like that, yeah. <laughs> Don't have any kryptonite here, do you? 
Hey, we do have we do have Anton over here. Yeah. Pan over there. <laughs> next big joke. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You want a big dumb joke for next week or for like oh, you no. can use it in like four months? Yeah. Yeah. Termite. What did the termite say when he walked in the bar? Is the bar tender here? <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. What is, what is your uh, background like as an education before to prepare mm. to come to this job like this? I have a BA from Columbia College in, in Bogota, Columbia. No, from <laughs> Bogota. <laughs> it's uh, Chicago. In, it's a liberal arts college in Chicago. I have a bachelor's from uh, Illinois State. Uh, we we both had experience working at the stations uh, in our co at our colleges, right? And you did. Yeah. Paul did intern work. I interned at uh, three radio stations in Chicago, and I've worked at stations in Baltimore. Florida and Wisconsin before here. And I uh, started working at 106 in uh, November of 84. And I graduated in May of 84 and, and I've been there since. What did you get your degrees in? Uh, basket Communications. weaving. <laughs> basket weaving? <laughs> I, Thank you, intern. <laughs> wait, for the, uh, wait for the elbow. Okay. okay. <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying again. <laughs> we get, we'll edit it together. It'll sound tight. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, college. You don't have to go to college to get a job in radio, but no, uh, you don't. nowadays yeah. it's so competitive it doesn't hurt to, to get that experience somewhere. And, we, and I got it at the college station at ISU, and Paul had a lot of experience. Do you think about going on maybe getting a graduate degree of any kind? Or? Oh, boy. For radio? <laughs> <laughs> Reading level is at the Weekly World News, so we want to get... <laughs> <laughs> Unless they give out PhDs in, in, in tabloid reading, you know, I don't think so. That might be it. There's well, no we, need to, really. We, we're we have learning to, as we go. We have to read... Oh. Um, we got this from Hector Stumwitz, our owner and general manager. <laughs> when he found out we were going to be on today, he said, make sure you read this list. This top ten. Yeah, we, we, we put together a top ten. Who, who does yours? Ted? Tim? 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 Anyway, it's uh, top ten things that are more fun than listening to The Breakfast Club. This is according to... <laughs> Not yet, Anton! <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one of these. All right. Yeah, wait till like the, the, the last one. Let's try it. It's <laughs> good. Wait, wait, let's try a practice one. Ready? <laughs> oh, my. Well, that... Pop down his microphone. Just give us a rim shot on number one. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, these are the top ten things that are more fun than listening to The Breakfast Club. It's according to our owner, general manager, Hector Stumwitz. Hector Stumwitz. No applause for Hector? Yeah! Oh, there shouldn't be any. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number ten. Being spanked with a ping pong paddle. <laughs> number nine, a groin pull. <laughs> number, number eight, dental surgery. <laughs> number seven, a paper cut. Number six, facts of life reruns. <laughs> number... <laughs> Number five, having facial hairs plucked out with pliers. <laughs> number four, firing employees. I was thinking that should be number one for him. I yeah. yeah. Number three, pink eye. <laughs> number two, <laughs> shaving his head and pouring hot mustard on it. <laughs> and the number one thing that's more fun than listening to The Breakfast Club is, according to Hector Stumwitz, wading naked through raw sewage. <laughs> Oh, Anton. <laughs> it would be something like this. You do the last one. And number one, wading naked through raw sewage. Yeah! Try it again. I'll do it. <laughs> it's not as funny the third time around. <laughs> Imagine if Dave had to get up on his show and do the drumming. He'd have flat swept like you. <laughs> Sweat. It's going away. That's good. It's, it's starting to dry and get crusty. Here, have another sticker. <laughs> have another sticker. <laughs> come on, come on, give him one. Come on, ew, come on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what do you guys uh, you right think of? Where's the glass breaking effect? Oh, we don't have that. Yeah, well, this is a different show, isn't well, you it? Know, that's network television, you know? Well, come this on. mic looks just like Dave's. <laughs> a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice mic. Yeah, thank you. Mm. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think you guys think of the other morning shows like the Kuzu or uh, Gary Olson stuff like that? Kuzu. Yeah, I never heard of Kuzu. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is that a Peoria? Is that a cable? Is that a cable station? <laughs> That's a cable station, I think. <laughs> is that a Metamora station? <laughs> Bloomington. Bloomington station. The QZ. Oh, B W B N B Q N B N. <laughs> what was the other station? <laughs> KZ. Is that on W B N Q? Is that a B N Q? I've K heard of that. Hold I on, hold on. We've, we've KZ. Uh, Gary Molson, is that the guy? <laughs> do, do, now, isn't his family big in the beer business in Canada? Is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We, uh, we've, uh, we've listened to uh, uh, people's we, responses to the show, but we well, really haven't heard uh, it One of our listeners, uh, Lenny C., said that when we were on vacation, he uh, listened to one of the other shows, and he didn't say which one it was. Write it down. Did we he? did wrote, write down his comments there. Yep. He said he listened for two minutes, and all he heard was insipid droll banter. So. And, he, and he turned the channel. So and one time uh, we had the we had the ghost of Elvis on occasionally, and he, he got really mad when he was on our show we got one him time. Yeah. yeah, and uh, he left. He said, "I'm going to go work at the uh, Meatball Radio Station." Well, not work there, but haunt it. Haunt it, you know. <laughs> right? And uh, he was only gone for like two minutes. He came back, and uh, he, he was disgusted with uh, the disco music, and uh, he he commented on the the jokes that they were telling were like popular when he was alive. So, so. <laughs> it was uh, so, you know. And we're on the air, really, so we can't listen to it. So we couldn't give you any of our judgments or our feelings about it. So. Yeah. You guys keep up but, with... But we've heard Gary Molson is a pretty nice guy, though. Yeah. Oh, we've met him. He's, he's a nice guy. Yeah. They're all pretty nice. Well, we've met him, that's right. <laughs> Do you guys keep up with the other stations to see what, I mean, what they're doing at all? Is Absolutely. We, uh, we uh, listen to them uh, on a 24-hour uh, basis. You know, we take turns, like six-hour periods. <laughs> and then the, afterwards, there's intense therapy. <laughs> <laughs> What we have is we write down the number of times they play each song, and their top five songs they play 36 times a day is what, we, what we've established. 36. And so that's why we started our no-repeat workday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We don't repeat the same song. Yeah. Yay. So. Now, what, what, do you think this is... Well, let's hear it! Yeah. Oh. Now, do you think this is big of them to do their little, uh, what's it, four times big when you guys are doing, like, 16, Wait a minute. right? You're okay, let 16? me see. They're doing four. Four songs in a row. And uh, we're doing 16. God, which Four one's times. which? Which one's better? I don't know. No, Jeez, no, I don't know. Call me uh, stupid. No, but, but the, looks to me stupid. when I when I look at that, it seems like it's taken away from the talents of the, some of the DJ. He doesn't have any. Like all he has to do is just sit on the John and for like four songs. <laughs> like, he puts four songs. Well, on. well, that's people, only appropriate. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, people have to listen. People listen for music. The number one reason people listen to the radio yeah. station is for music, isn't it? Yeah, but I think um, if it's if it's anything if it's just playing songs, I mean they can get that from a tape or a jukebox. Yeah. So what is the radio for? For music and for entertainment. So, you know, I think a lot of it depends on what you put between the records, too. I always thought there was maybe a certain time where it's better to have more music and better to have me more talking. Is that, can well, you base it, anything like that? In the morning, you'll find that there's uh, more entertainment, more talk than, than normal, more information, because uh, a lot of people, most people get their news in the morning from the radio. So that's why you'll have a lot more news and information and a lot more talk in the morning. Hmm. How'd you guys do in the the latest ratings on when they have come out. Well, uh, there are two there are two rating services. Uh, one of which we're not allowed to quote uh, exact figures. Let's just say we were real happy with that one. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one we did real well in also the the uh, Birch is what uh, we subscribe to and we came in third in that and number one in uh, eighteen to forty nine in all uh, adult eighteen plus numbers. Yeah. Hmm. So, so we're pretty we're, happy at our happy. target audiences. It was our first um, ratings period, uh, Dan and I, together. So yeah. and we're still getting, to, getting to know each other. The, uh, our, our target audience is 18 to 49. So, so, so we're real, real happy with that. Yeah. And anyone under 18 that wants to listen is, is sure more, <laughs> more than welcome to. We, you know. uh, what, one of the questions we usually ask stars are feeling like you guys. Stars? <laughs> For people here? like you guys, what was... What's Anton. What? <laughs> There's a star. <laughs> Anton. Anton Big. <laughs> Name and, tell us like an embarrassing moment that's happened like throughout your career or something like that. Both of you just... Uh, well, this week? You want this past week or... <laughs> <laughs> no, we, no. Can't say. we can't say... It. Well, we can't say the word. No. No, I know. I understand. <laughs> um, there's a Monty Python uh, a bit about a cheese shop. Are you familiar with that? Yeah. The cheese shop that doesn't have any cheese. Yeah. The guy goes there he's looking asking for, for cheese. cheese. There's no, there's none of this. There's none of that. There's none of this. Finally, there is one cheese, and it's runny. He says, "Oh, that's fine. I like it runny." And well, it's it's really runny. And uh, he says, "I don't." By this care time, how, he's really, really ticked off. I don't care how beep runny it is. I want the cheese. And uh, that on the t on the TV show, uh, on the on the Monty Python series, he says. Uh, 
he says, what does he say, how bloody or how... How bloody, excrementally runny it is. Yeah. That's what he but says. But on this... They changed it a little bit for the record, new, which is a new On this new double record. album we have, yeah. Change it, and it kind of just slipped in there, and that was somewhat embarrassing. Yeah. But we didn't get any complaints it was, about it. So... It was, uh... Till Hector came in and said, uh, <laughs> can anyone loan me a gun? <laughs> No, he said he wanted to know if he, he could borrow a dime. Can a dime, did he a say? A dime, yeah. Oh, scared me for I a second. I thought he said a gun. Is. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> make, make me be nervous for like three days after that. That's great. Well, I just did that for fun. <laughs> a little spice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys like since you're both of you? Do you have like a favorite song that you, you like throw on sometimes? Is, it, is this the favorite things? song question? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Did you? It, uh, every week I have a new favorite song. Let me see what's my favorite song this week. Uh, Tall Cool One by Robert. Ooh, Pence. yeah, yeah. That's, right, for I lack of anything. Side right now. Favorite all time song. Favorite right? of all time? Yeah. Don McLean's uh, American Pie. It's a toss up between American Pie and Holiday in Cambodia by the Dead Kennedys. Ooh, that's a, that's <laughs> a tough one. one. It's, it's, it's a, it's a it's, it's, You can't, can't compare, really, can you? No, you, you really can't. Apples one. And you have a, a least favorite, like something you just. And you're glad you're not playing, or you wish you weren't playing it. Usually, what's ever playing <coughs> in the meatball station. That's we're, probably we're, we're, glad, we're glad we work where we do. Seasons in the sun. Really great on my nerves really? when I hear that nowadays. Yeah. yeah, I really, I hate that song. <laughs> now, yeah. compared to, um, as you call it, the meatball station. How how much do you play like a popular song, a, a day, say a day? How much are you required as to on your programming schedule to put in a popular song? We're not. We can play it as many times as we want. I mean, that's that's the uh, that's the joy of it. I mean, we decide to play it so many times. I would say, three, maybe four, you know, uh, tops. Four. And people, and usually people, three, I think, a day. Yeah. Our most popular song gets played. And people don't listen to the radio very often, uh, fifteen hours straight. You know, uh, unless they're at work and they have the radio on. So, uh, even if you play a song three or four times a day, they might not hear it. But still, that we. we that, that's a pretty good balance, and that's for maybe the most popular songs we're playing. So, so you're pretty much allowed to do whatever. Like at other stations, they pretty much have. Days oh no, we home. have we have certain. Uh, there are certain categories that we're allowed to fill with certain things. It's not like, gee, 7:20 on a Friday morning, let's play a side of Black Sabbath, maybe War Pigs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they can't, they can't do that. It's just, we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. Aren't but we? we may do that tomorrow morning, yeah. just to shake things up a little bit. Yeah. Just to wake somebody up at six o'clock, maybe. Eh? But we get requests for that kind of stuff, you know, every now and then. But uh, yeah. we have to be very selective about what we play because what might thrill five people or five percent of the audience, and the other ninety-five percent might just go. Whoop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we have to be. We have to be worried about that. Is there any big plans, secret things you let us know about coming up in the summer about one oh six or? Uh... <sighs> okay. Anything you tell them about? Uh, probably when we get fired, that's going to happen <laughs> shortly after the next ratings come. If it out. makes the front page though of the Journal Star, that'll be big, won't it? That would be big, but it, it won't make the front page. No. no. Might make the people section next to the far side. They got a column and that's there. what we're shooting for. They got a column there that fit right in there. Well, thanks for being on tonight. Uh, huh? The Weekender? We write that. You know, you should be on camera more often. You should be sitting yeah. right here, maybe Come off on. camera. And to and laugh go, when we say going, something slightly humorous. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know if it picks up too well, does it? Oh yeah. Okay. And it can pick up anywhere, anywhere it can pick up. That was really? a nifty phone call you got too. Yeah. Can we? Can it pick up your little, uh, your little arm trick that that you do? Can you get a camera on him? He does this little thing underneath his armpit. Can you? Can you do that? Can you? Can you? Keep it, seen on cable this is TV. like a stupid human trick. This is even with a sweater on. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. That is so good. Oh, nice. Let's give him a hand. Good job. That was good. I like that. <laughs> Thanks a lot for being on. Thanks for the stickers. Uh, oh, God. It has been a great time talking to you guys. So. We'll our pleasure. Have sometime. us back soon. Oh, great. When our next movie's out, we'll come and try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot for being on. Hey, thanks. All right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Take that laugh and just like put it back so it doesn't be too. <laughs> um, oh, number five on the agenda. Ed's back. Oh, oh no. Oh, it was last week he ate crackers. The week before he had flying oh, airplanes. Yes. Here he is, surprise the week. We don't know what's going to happen. Yes. Ed Norland. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Um, what's <clears throat> this? Well, I've got some interesting things here. Um, well, there they are. I was. 
same physics class playing around with my uh, <whistles> side whistle. <laughs> and I was actually thinking, dude, this could be a legitimate instrument. You know, I mean, you could play, you could play like Mary Had a Little Lamb. Or something. But, so I talked to Mr. Rao, the physics teacher, and said, I want to do a little bit bigger. Oh. So he loaned me his organ pipe, and uh, here goes. That's the surprise of the week. That was surprising. All right, thanks a lot. That's it. What? That's an organ, organ pipe. Organ pipe. Organ pipe. Well, it was show and tell se session after the show, so if you have any questions, I'll be here. So, thanks. Next week, Tuesday night, we're playing WHOI here. Be there! At, uh, probably game time. Hopefully, we'll start about 7.45 to get the chance. Other guys are going to be late. Get a chance to be there. They're going for their, was it, 20, 30th win? 30th win. 30th win. We're 29 2 right now. So we're out of the NCAA tournament, which yeah. that was sort of a bad loss. Oklahoma. Them, so. Oklahoma. You know, and they're, they're, they're high rated teams. So yeah, still in next it, yeah. week, it's the big one hour spring bonanza. We'll have the whole staff here. We'll only have like I'm not going to be staff, here. Except for him. He's going to be in Florida. <laughs> the bomb. Oh, wow. Next week, we'll have oh, food. Oh, new. Oh, hey. we'll play the drum! <laughs> <laughs> It'll be hot there. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, we'll have new opening graphics next week. Yeah. Uh, first one of the year. Some new opening graphics. The whole staff will be here. Uh, show up. Don't know what else to do. Have a great week. See you and later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.